Hello, good afternoon and welcome. My name's Lynn from Craft with Bella Jane and this is part two of um, hashtag how to botanical the four pieces of ephemera swap. Now um, we've done two of them and I've got two more to complete in part two. So we've got everything ready. This is what we're going to make today and this is an idea from um, G Kerr and uh, it's it's a little pocket and uh, you put lots of tags in there. It takes quite a lot as you can see I haven't filled it up completely. Lots more room in there. So it's made up of three, two, three main pieces and then I've used some music paper to um, to make the uh, the concertina edge. So I've got everything ready and we'll keep that there in case I need to refer back to it. So that's my hinge. Um, okay, so this is the back. So we have one piece for the back and I'm going to cover that on, that's going to be the back, the part that's on the outside and then this is going to be on the inside and I think I made, um, I think I used music paper last time, I used all music paper on the inside of that. So this time I'm going to use all the botanical papers because I've got lots left. And then this is the front, so that fits there. So this is from the, this is from this kit. So it is music paper. So I thought I'll put that inside, and then I put this on the front like that. And then this is the um, the bit that goes over the top like that. So I've got more music paper. So I thought I'll put that on the inside and then this can be I don't know which way up that goes I think it goes that way up yeah so that can be the top that goes over like that so that's all the pieces then I've got some bits of I've got some fabric there for to make a cluster I've got some fabric there and some little tags to make the um, dingly down. Okay, so um, right, we'll just make a start on these now and uh, start gluing everything together. It's very gloopy.
think that's too big. sweet aren't they? I think I might use those. Woo! So we'll leave those. Actually we'll, should we throw them away? No we'd better keep them I suppose. And I'll put those together like that. Put them in there. Right, so, sip of my tea. Wow, well, that's lovely. Right, so let's cut these out now. One. <clears throat> this is still a little bit. That wasn't very straight, was it? <clears throat> okay, so the batteries batteries ran out there. So um, while I was away, I um, I finished covering all the pieces. And I uh, inked, I inked all the edges. So now we have a top and a back and a front like that, which is rather sweet, isn't it? So yeah. Now the other thing I did was I made a start on these hinges. And uh, I used this piece of music paper comes with the kit, so I've used that. Um, now, I did make a slight <coughs> error. Rather than print more, I decided I would repair my error. And I'll show you how I did it. So that goes there and then opens like that. Now this is what you need. You need a piece that's that long and the height of this. Now I worked this out at about what is it? About two centimeters. That's the size I needed for that. And I mean it's just a guesstimate really. And then you need a small hinge on the edge. Now I forgot about the hinge and the hinge is 
about one centimeter so yeah so there we are so all I did was um, I folded this in half now you know I'm sure you've done this if you haven't if you knew then that's fine um, but if not please skip forward and then I folded these back Now, if this had been one whole piece of paper, um, I may have scored it into half inch, uh, two centimetre and one centimetre. So now, because I've, um, because of my mistake, I need to attach these small hinges to this. Okay. Okay, so I've been away and I've inked everything and uh, yeah, I've got these two pieces ready. So all I'm going to do now is just glue these, glue these onto here so that they match. So let's just small amount of glue down there. And this is just paper, so I'm just using um, glue stick. one goes on here. Which way up it goes. There we are. Can we see the finger bumps? I mean really I don't think it matters that much but I think that's the right way up. I mean it's going to be inside anyway and I don't think you're going to be able to see it unless you pull it all to pieces. Yeah, so the bit you want to see on the outside, you need to make the mounting fold there. And then you mounting folds like that. And these are still a bit wet, so I'm not sure I want to glue them yet. Anyway, the other thing you need to do, which I didn't do on the last one, but I've adapted now. Um, is you need to make a hinge for in here because what happened the last time was all I did was I ran a bead of glue down there and it starts to come apart I mean it's stayed pretty secure but um it's looking a bit, it looks a bit tatty in there. It looks like it could come apart. And to be honest, I think the only thing that's holding it is the sides. So what I've done is I've made a little hinge this time. And the hinge, all the hinges is a piece of the paper that matches, which is that. And I've glued this one on. And this hinge now needs to just go in there like that and then that sits in there and that goes over the top and glues to to the back 
and then when it's all fastened that's what happens it all comes it all comes apart like that like a hinge now I think this is a huge improvement to the last one okay so we can't glue that hinge in place until we've glued this on <coughs> Now, because this has got writing on, I want to make sure it's the right way up. So, there it is. I'm going to glue that to there. And again, I'm just going to use the um, I'm just going to use the um, glue stick and there we are as easy as that and that folds in and that folds in and that folds in and that folds in okay so now we'll put the hinge in it's just going to go there just um, ink the hinge just because it will show at the bottom and I thought it'd be easy to do it before you glue it in and afterwards unsightly there but I mean you are not even going to see that so now that gets fastened to there and then this hinge gets fastened to the back like this side hinge gets fastened to the back like that it that way up and I put the leaf that way up so yeah that goes which is the bottom now that's the top and that's the bottom so this is the bottom here so we need everything in place and we need that over there and that over there now this has got to all be glued together so that it works yeah that works right so this needs to glue only onto this bit here okay so we have to be really careful with this because we only want to glue that corner because we don't want to glue the rest okay now the back gets glued onto here so for this all we do now is we glue down there now let's put something under there because we don't want to glue this together it looks like it's already starting to glue itself together.
sides in. Now I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this under a book, I think, for a while. I really don't want to open it up too much until. see isn't that great and you can see that's a much better idea with that hinge and um, you can just glue a ink a bit more on the bottom if you want to that's a much better idea I'm liking that very much okay yeah I love it I love that I really really like it now the next job is to fasten the um, the top on. Now the other thing is, when I made this the first time, all I used was a piece of fabric for the hinge. And it's fine, but what I was watching somebody else make something with a hinge and they put a piece of paper on first just to give it that extra strength so I'm going to do that I'm very conscious this is still a bit wet and I don't want it to glue itself together but we'll have a go anyway <coughs> right so that's the outside and that's the inside and obviously we do want a little bit of a gap don't we nothing too nothing too much uh, let me put this in here which is the sticky side that one or that one I can't remember now I think they're both I think they're both pretty dry now okay so this has got to go here with a tiny 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 gap now a little a very small hinge I think we need It's not going to be seen, so um, this is when we're getting a bit precious over uh, tiny little bits of paper, isn't it? great but it means I'm gonna have um, I might have bands of sunshine across my uh, across my um, workspace across my desk okay so that's a hinge again that we made same as we made for the bottom just trim that now I don't know of a need to do anything with this I might just do that ink in the same again because it's not nobody's going to see it I'll just ink it just in case you can see it on the inside and I'm wondering actually now I've done this whether I should have done it the other way around but as I say I think it's totally immaterial because I don't think you're going to see any of it and I'm just working on my feet here because I've never, I've not done this before. So, right, let's put one on here. Like that. I don't know if you can hear that blackbird singing its heart out out there. Uh, 
and then glue this side. Yeah, so it was worth gluing, worth, um, it was worth the, the, um, was worth just inking that hinge there, and I might ink it a bit more when it's dry. It's never a good idea to ink on top of glue until it's dry because it goes really strange. Yeah, I'm happy I've done that hinge actually. Now I've got a little bit overlapping here, tiny, teeny bit. Oh, no, I don't think I have to be honest. Yeah, so that's the hinge of that. And that's that in there. So now. I mean, really, you could make the hinge out of paper if you made it decorative, couldn't you? I mean, I've just made that plain. So let's take some of these threads off here. This is just a sort of linen fabric. It's something I had in my fabric box. Um, that is years. I don't even remember where I bought it or what I bought it for, to be honest. I've got a thicker version, which is alright, but it's not as good for doing things like this. Um, just a little bit off the edges. There we are. And excuse my fingers because of all the um, all that close um, inking. I should have washed my hands, but there we are. So this is going to go on here. I'm not sure how much overlap I had. I didn't have a lot, just a little bit. So this is probably too big. So we'll just take a little bit more off these edges and then we'll trim it before we glue it down. Still a bit sticky. Well, I'm still a bit sticky. So I just come off, oh, that's the wrong. Depends on whether you're on the a warp or the weft as to whether you can um, rip fabric. So I'll just pull the edges off here. And hope we haven't cut it too short, which I've got this ominous feeling I might have done. Anyway, there we are. Oops, sorry, I bashed the camera then. Yeah, that's fine. So, do I want it that long? That's the question. Yes, I do. That's fine. So, we're now going to get the fabric tack out. And... There we go, fabric tack. No, oh, I don't want to go too mad. I like to do that and then smooth it along so I don't get any lumps. I mean, I could 
could use my finger bit. Oh, my word, fabric tack is so sticky. You know, there's not a lot of wiggle room with fabric tack, so you need to you need to work fast. Got those threads caught up there. the fabric at this uh, glue the material this time rather than the the work because I know exactly where it's going then don't I? You can always add a bit more if you need to, just lift it and lift it and add. Well, I'm bearing in mind that I've got really mucky fingers. Not, um, Pull a few more threads off this. Now I could pull a few more threads off or I could snip it all off. But I quite like the idea of having the threads hanging out over the edge. This has got sticky now so it doesn't want to doesn't want to play so I think we're going to have to leave that there we are like that I might use a pin and just pull those out after Right, so that's the basis of it. Um, I might just give this a little brush because it's very white, isn't it? Well, it's cream. But stands out, doesn't it? That's better. Using what's on the brush. That's better, I'm happier with that. And um, yeah, I'm not happy with these edges at the minute, but I'll probably try and, as I say, pull a few more threads out of there when it's dry. So yeah, there we are, that's the basis of it. Bit of decorate now. Um, going to put some words on it, a word there, got a cluster, that's a bit big, I've got some dangly bits to go on here, on that cluster, with a bulb pen, um, I'm not sure about the closure, I think I'm just going to use a um, what you call it a velcro um sticker to go on there and i probably just maybe put a bow on there might might just brush that bow as well just to, 
take the whiteness off it. And um, I've got something I can put in here maybe. I've got a few words. And then I need to make some um, cards to go inside there. So um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I'll, um, I'll pop back in a minute when it's finished. Okay, so um, yeah, I've come back to you just with the finished uh, the finished items. So we've got a little cluster on the front here with some tags. Those are two botanicals. That's my handmade for you in Wales by Craft with Bella Jane. And a little metal hand that says handmade. Um, yeah, there's the friends butterfly, little cluster there. That's the back. It's got a velcro, velcro closure. And inside we've got um, just some uh, little journaling cards. I thought there were three of those, yes, there were. And um, I've just um, inked those on the back using my um, ink brush. So that's that one. And then this one I made off camera. Um, it's just um, an old envelope, as you can see inside. And I've covered it, cut it down. That's a bit off center, I think. But I wished I'd got my one inch punch, but I haven't. So that closes, a little wooden button on the top there is just for show. And I've just put a bit of thread in there and a few embellishments on the front. So those are the final two from part two and I'll just bring in the others. So there's that one. Which we made in part one. And then there's this one which we also made in part one. Yeah, I thought, I wondered where that had gone. There we are, I might take that other one off. And that's got these. But you can see these in, um, if you go to uh, the video part one, you can have a look at how we made this one. So there we are. Maybe that could do with a little bit of twine around it to hold it together. Anyway, that's my four. Um, yeah, that's my four pieces of ephemera which I'll be sending off to my swap partner this afternoon and um, hopefully she'll get that by Monday. So, um, yeah, there we are. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.